Hey everybody, this is my season wrap up for uh, rental income with um, Steam Monsters or Splinterlands or whatever you want to call it. And uh, here's the overall chart. Uh, you can see this spike is the end of the last season, this uh, the previous season, this spike is the end of the most recent season. Uh, gray line here is the, um, is the annualized uh, earnings and this is just a regression channel there. So yeah, we could actually see you took a little bit of a dip there. And uh, a couple reasons for that. One is that some of the players were not as active. Um, two is, you know, I've been shifting cards, you know, from my primary Steam account to my Steam, my cards holding account. And a lot of those are just sitting uh, not on the market. And so I have to go back and do some of that. But with all that said, still pretty happy with the whole thing. In terms of Steam, I made 396.2 Steam. Uh, 36.5 SPDs, 267,000 dark energy crystals, and all that combined together was a US dollar value of 328 bucks. Now that value is on a daily mark to market, meaning that, um, you know, so this this amount is, you know, whatever 33.6 steam was that day, plus whatever 2.8 SPDs was that day, plus 22,000 dark energy crystals that day added up to $28 worth of income. Uh, if on the Herons Unlimited accounts, if we go over to account summary here, uh, you can see that uh, overall dropped to 25%. Couple reasons for that. One is that this brand new account, uh, which is one of my hybrid accounts, um, only got online with the last day of, of the season, so it didn't earn very much. Uh, another is that uh, you know I've got two of these silver accounts just sitting there doing nothing. And but a larger reason is that. Um, the the accounts I'm setting up lately have had you know mixed golds in there, and the reason to do that is because well, what else am I going to do with the golds? And uh, the uh, the 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 market value to um, dark energy crystal yield are not as good as the um, as the regulars. So, but you know the total bulk will you know create a larger gross, which is uh, which is what I'm more interested in. So that's all good. Um, if we look at this by league, you know, our champion is doing really well. Um, and diamonds do less well. Uh, last season we had a couple, uh, you know, a couple diamonds not really perform. So we're finding new ones there. Uh, the gold levels, you know, that really varies depending on the luck of the draw of the season of the well the season and the daily quest rewards silvers always do best you know 50 40 uh, if we throw in the ones with some golds even even so the silvers even with the golds which is the little G there the gold cards you know they're still doing the 40s 50s sometimes if you get lucky you get a 70 percent um, so that's actually where the highest return on assets is of course the flip side of that is you know people want higher level decks because well everybody wants to play at the top um, so <laughs> Uh, you know, but still, the, the silver accounts are going to be the intro accounts for new players, and that is actually my largest concern with the whole thing. Uh, but overall, I'm still pretty happy, 25%. It's uh, certainly better than anything in the stock market or negative yielding bonds or whatever, and, uh, you know, it's fun to play, and I get a kick out of it. So that's where we are for the season ending, uh, you know, end of August 2019. So... Um, uh, I'm pretty happy with it.